Welcome back to a new Kinetia Deluxe podcast. Hope you're doing well, Alexandre Benma, with you to give you three quick tips on iOS. First, I'd like to show you how you can use and configure the accessibility shortcut. This is a tool allowing to quickly turn on or off an accessibility feature. This is pretty useful if someone else needs to use your device or if you're experiencing issues with your accessibility features. Second, I'd like to show you how you can restore speech of a device that it is no longer speaking. And finally, I'd like to show you how you can place some calls by entering an extension before placing the call. This will let you call and put the extension number without the need of listening to voiceover at the same time of instructions on the phone. Enjoy! So, as explained, today we'll cover three tips for, let's say, beginner users, but uh, it may also interest some more advanced users, especially for the last tips. And um, the first one, will uh, I'll show you how you can manage and modify the way that the uh, accessibility shortcuts works using uh, the uh, setting panel and accessibility. What is the accessibility shortcut? This is the, the way, the possibility to turn on or off an accessibility feature by either a triple clicking the home button, so either physical or virtual home button. So for those who are having an iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, so the, the, the button that it, it is not physically a button, but and that you can feel a vibration when pressing it. Or for those who are using a most recent iPhone, like uh, iPhone X, XS, XS Max, XR, 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, ah, so many, uh, you can uh, use the um, side button, which is also the power button. If you triple click this button, then it will execute the action attached to the uh, accessibility shortcut. So we'll see how to change these actions. It might be very useful in order to be able to turn on or off voiceover in the case you're not the person who initially set up your iPhone. Because if you're uh, setting your iPhone using voiceover on the initial setup screen by uh, for sure a uh, triple clicking either the home button or the side button, then automatically the accessibility shortcut will be set up to a voiceover. But if someone else configured your iPhone, probably that this person uh, never used voiceover when doing the uh, initial setup. So the accessibility shortcut won't work. So uh, in order to fix this out, well, uh, we'll have to uh, go ahead and select voiceover and uh, other things i'd like to show you is how you can recover speech in the case you're uh, not hearing anything uh, sometimes this is something that may happen to uh, users who are beginner who cut for example the speech of voiceover by accident so how you can uh, retrieve the speech so uh, let's talk about this and finally I'd like to uh, show you a tips uh, you can use to uh, quickly uh, dial an extension when uh, calling, let's say, you know, uh, uh, an automated system. So you're calling, for example, your hospital, you need to uh, punch in extension 1234. Then how you can do this? Well, it is possible to do it by listening to voiceover during a call, by moving your finger around the screen and uh, uh, punching the digits. However, some users are not necessarily familiar with this, knowing that there is no physical button and they are having some difficulties hearing voiceover at the same time of the automated voice. So, well, uh, I'll show you a tips you can use to get out of this uh, issue. 
this is not fantastic but this may help but really also uh, you, you can practice yourself uh, hearing voiceover at the same time you're placing a call because yes the telephone keypad will be fully usable uh, during a call no problem to uh, deal with the um, telephone keypad uh, even if uh, you're in a call all right, so without further ado, let me start by the accessibility shortcut. So in order to change this out, let me open settings. Settings. By the way, settings. right now I am using an iPhone 7. Search. Her notifications. Button. iOS 13 for sure. Uh, latest version. All right, so uh, moving uh, to the right until I find out accessibility. Sa do not screen general control display accessibility button. Here we go. Accessibility features help you customize. Okay, and completely at the bottom of the screen of accessibility, not in the first screen, but if you scroll the screen, you can either flick right until you'll find the uh, accessibility shortcut option, or you can just um, swipe up with three fingers. Rows 9 to 20 of 20. This is what I did. And then... Accessibility shortcut, voiceover button. At the bottom of the screen, here it is. So accessibility shortcut, voiceover. So let me uh, click this one. Configure and then triple click the home button to toggle accessibility features on or off. Okay, yeah. The on button, why? Because I have an iPhone with an on button. If, uh, as explained before, I don't have one, it's only a side button, it's going to be the side button. So... Let me flick right. Triple click the home button for heading. Assistive touch. So. Reorder assistive touch button. Classic invert colors. Why uh, we can hear reorder? Because we can select more than one. Reorder. Color filters. Reorder. Reduce white point. Reorder. Smart invert color. Reorder. Switch control. Reorder. Voice control. Re selected. Voice over. Reorder. Vo zoom. Reorder. Reorder. Zoom. Button. And zoom. Reorder. Selected. There we voice go. over. So let's say if I want to unselect voice over. I just need to double click. Voice over. And then if I go out of the screen. Switch control off with button. With the uh, two finger uh, scrub. Then if I uh, triple click the home button. One, two, three. Settings, back button. Accessibility. Nothing's happened. Siri button. So this is it. Uh, by the way, uh, if you're using a side button, pay attention to something. If you click uh fifth time the side button it will automatically launch an emergency call and uh, you don't want this you can cancel it because usually you'll have a countdown of approximately 10 seconds to click uh, cancel but if you're in the situation that uh, voiceover is not turned on well you may have some issues canceling this uh, call and uh, believe me this is something that may happen so uh well uh <laughs> And uh, yeah, myself, uh, it's happened. So if you, let's say, turn off then on voiceover to uh, faster, then uh, you can uh, do this uh, by accident. So let me go Settings. again into... Oops. Guided access. Off. Rows 9 to 20 of accessibility shortcut. Off. Accessibility Configuring shortcut. Triple. Now it is off. Triple. So Reor. Classic. Reor. Color filters. Let me find back voiceover. Re reduce white. Re Smart invert. Re Switch control. Reorders. Voice. Reorder. Voice. Voice control. Re uh, voiceover. Here it is. So voiceover. reduce white. Okay, perfect. Then let me go out of there again. Switch control off. All button. right. Then if now I triple tap the on button, one, two, three. Voice over off. All right. So voice over is now off. Let me do it again. One, two, three. Voice over on. Settings. So if you have a side button, please make sure to wait at least a second or two before uh, re enabling voice over because if you do it, ta 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 then uh, like it may launch the uh, emergency call. So what I want to show again, let me find... Guided access, Sir, accessibility shortcut, voice accessibility over, configure, shortcut. And then... Okay, and then let me add another option there. Assistive touch. Let me for fun add the assistive touch option. Selected, assistive touch. So now we have two options. Let me scrub with two fingers. Switch control, off, button. All right, then if I triple click the home button, one, two, three. Alert, accessibility shortcuts. Then, now we have a menu that popped up. Assistive touch, button, selected, voiceover, button. And let's say I want to select the cancel, assistive button. touch. Cancel, I can do it, and for sure I have a cancel button. So let me flick left until I find back the assistive touch option. Select, assistive touch, button. There we go, double click. 
settings. And back in my settings. So if I again triple click the uh, home button, one, two, three. Alert, accessibility shortcuts. Then Selected, assistive touch button. Selected, voiceover button. Both options are now selected. Selected, so assistive touch button. Let me uh, unselect assistive touch by double tapping. Settings, back button. There we go. And just want to show you something really important. If you are a voiceover user and only rely on voiceover, make sure to only select voiceover and the accessibility shortcut. Why? Because if you uh, turn off voiceover, let me do that. One, two, three. Alert, accessibility shortcuts. Assistive touch button, selected, voiceover. Voiceover, button. let me double tap. Voiceover off. Now voiceover is off. Let's say that I want to turn it back on. Let me triple tap again the uh, home button, triple click, one, two, three. Nothing's happened there. But yes, some things happen on the screen. I have the possibility now on the screen to uh, check uh, voiceover, but unfortunately this is completely inaccessible for us. So the only way I'll have to re-enable voiceover will be to ask Siri, by pressing and holding the home button but uh, or the side button but in all situation you may not hear the uh, Siri sound confirming that Siri is listening to you so what's going to be best to do will be to press and hold the button wait for a second then uh, ask enable voiceover and then release the uh, home or side button so uh, let me do this pressing and holding turn on voiceover Okay, I turned on voiceover. Now voiceover should be back on. List help button. Yeah, it is. Settings. General heading. All right. But in this situation, you don't have any access to internet. You turned off voiceover. You won't be able to ask Siri to turn it back on. So that's why this is really crucial that if you're only using voiceover, even if you need uh, another accessibility uh, technology like assistive touch, but you can't see at all the screen, make sure to not put uh, two or more options into the accessibility shortcut or you might be stuck. Well, there is some other way to re-enable voiceover. Let's see. Yes, you can connect your phone to a computer, then use either iTunes or uh, the uh, macOS uh, Catalina Finder to uh, do this. But, uh, well, uh, this is not necessarily a good idea because in all cases, you may have to trust the computer and in order to do so you need to click trust button on the screen then enter your uh, iPhone security passcode if you have one and then by the way I greatly suggest you to uh, put a, a passcode on your iPhone it is much better than uh, let's say your iPhone got stolen or something like this you may have uh, a lot of uh, troubles so yeah um, getting back to enabling voiceover using a, a computer. You won't be able to uh, trust the computer without voiceover enable. So uh, yes, the option is there, but not necessarily uh, nice to use. So uh, in all case, again, if you're uh, relying on voiceover, exclusively relying on voiceover, make sure to not adding another uh, shortcut in this menu. But if you're a low vision user, want to use, let's say, the zoom and invert colors, things like this, well, uh, for sure, this uh, possibility will be for you. So uh, yes, in this case, you can select more than one options. All right, I think this is it for uh, the first tip. Uh, let me go home. Mail. All right, then, in some situation, let, let, let's talk about the, 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 the second tip. So in some situation, you may be stuck with your iPhone doing only sounds. I think you can hear them. Now I am flicking. I am moving my fingers, my finger all around the screen. I can even change page, but there's no voice. 
What's going on? Well, voiceover is still turned on because you are hearing sounds. If you have the accessibility shortcut configured, then on voiceover for sure, you can try to turn off voiceover by triple uh, clicking the home button or the side button, one, two, three. Nothing's happened. Let me do it a second time. One, two, three. FaceTime. Oh, voiceover is now back on. Pod FaceTime. And it is talking. By the way, prior to this, I've disabled, I've removed from the uh, accessibility shortcut, the assistive touch uh, feature. So that's why I was able to use the uh, accessibility shortcut. Now, I put back the iPhone in the state. It was uh, prior to uh, turning off then back on voiceover. Still having sounds. What's going on? Then in two voiceover, there's an option allowing to turn off speech. And this is probably what you did. So if you're hearing sounds, then you can uh, turn it back on, the speech I mean, by a double tapping with three fingers. It's exactly the same thing as double clicking or double tapping with one finger, but use three of them. So tac tac. Speech on. With three fingers. There we go, speech on. Canada, Bria, Bose Connect. That's the thing. And then, same thing, if you want to turn off the speech, double tap with three fingers on the screen. Tac, tac. Speech off. Then I am still hearing some sounds. Tac, tac with speech three fingers. On. There we go. App Store, Tee, Reminders. That's uh, a thing to consider if you're having some issues. By the way, another possibility might be the volume is completely down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna suggest first, now I am touching my screen, but there's absolutely no sound. So what I can do is check if the, the iPhone is turned on by using the rocker switch on the left side of the iPhone above the volume buttons. It's vibrating. So the iPhone is on. By the way, on iPad, uh, there's uh, nothing like this. You can try to uh, call Siri, or uh, by the way, uh, if you're uh, using a, an iPhone with a virtual physical button, like on the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, when pressing the button, you may feel a vibration if the iPhone is turned on. So the button may react. If the iPhone is off, then even if you try pressing the virtual home button, well, you're not gonna feel any kind of feedback. So that can be another hint. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'll, um, the best thing will be to press twice the side button, but wait a second, not double clicking. Pressing once, pressing twice. It's gonna lock, then unlock the screen. Then during the time you're flicking left and right, left and right, left and right, Push the volume hub button. Friday. Then now it is back. And this is really important to make voiceover talk during the time you're pressing the volume hub button. Otherwise, it may adjust the system volume but not voiceover volume. Now I'm Mail. Unlocking. 11,781 unread emails. This is it. So this is not a possibility for sure. Voiceover might be half, but you can try also asking Siri to turn voiceover on. And another thing to consider is the fact that the Siri volume, when you're interacting with Siri, this is not the same volume as the one used by voiceover in the system sounds. So you can be able to hear Siri, but not hearing voiceover at all. So note this, and it might be very helpful in the case you're getting stuck with your iPhone. All right, last thing. Let's uh, try to call a number with an extension at the hand. So in order to do so, let me open the phone app. Doc, phone. Well, phone, phone number, text field. Here I am. Then let me uh, first type in, let's say I want to call Kenny Dialog and extension 555. So the phone number will be 888 Seven three zero 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 three. Then extension five five five. What can I do? First, let me type Eight. in the number. 
eight 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 seven seven three three zero 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 three three there we go but do not click right now the call button if you're using the touch typing so the the typing mode you need to uh, drag your finger across the screen then when hearing the desired letter or digit you raise up your finger then it will be automatically written well you'll have to find out the call button then you'll have to flick left three times in order to locate the star button if you're using the standard typing the mode in the one you need to find out the digit or the letter you want to activate then raise your finger and uh, finally double tap with uh, one finger to write down the uh, previously selected character then you can just find out the star key and raise your finger so in both cases we'll have to find out the star key but if you're using the touch typing don't do this because seven star let me find out the star if i want to let my finger on nothing will happen but when raising my finger star it's gonna put the star there delete let me star. remove this okay and why the star because on the star there is an hidden character which is the comma and then we need to add a comma in order to call the extension so i am using now touch typing so let me find out the call button contacts tap, call Oops. button here it is let me flick left three times One, pound two, zero three. star here's the star then let me double tap and hold one two holding star star comma comma raising up my finger so now i have the comma written there then let me enter the extension number i want to call eight five 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 eight five five so five 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 if i confirm save as contact two Save it. Phone number 888-730-0003-555. Text field. The comma is not announced by voiceover at this time. If you navigate using the rotor by character, you may uh, find it out. But uh, the comma was uh, properly inserted. Then, if I click the call button. Contacts. Zero. Call button. Here it is. Double tapping. 888. Seven, three, right. zero, zero. So now it is calling. Welcome to Canadian Log. Have you heard? Un message en français suivra. Hello, you have reached the Canadian Log podcast feedback line. Let me hang up. And well, this is it. So we heard that 555 were entered there. And this is it. Let me go uh, let me go ahead and uh, turn on the uh, standard typing mode. I'll do it out of recording. There we go. I am now back into my phone keypad. Let me show you with the standard typing. So eight. Let me. Oops. I yeah. I need to double tap. I'm not used with. Uh, I'm not used to it. So eight. 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 eight seven. Seven. Three. Zero. I'm zero. Using a second finger to do it faster. Zero. 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 Six, three. Three. Perfect. Then eight. Star. Let me look at the star. Raising my finger. Double tapping and holding. Star, star, comma, comma. All right, then eight, five, 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 one, five, two, three. five. Okay, there we go. Let me find back the call button. Call button. There we go. Clicking. Then eight, 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 seven, three, zero. Let me cut off the speech. There we go. Welcome to Canadian Log. Yeah. And now again, the extension was automatically yeah. dialed. Okay, let me hang up. Fantastic. And uh, this is it. So um, I will uh, change it back uh, for touch typing. I am done. I did it out of recording. Uh, let me go on my home screen. Settings. There we go. And the last possibility to facilitate uh, extension dialing is to create a contact. And this one, for sure, you'll be able to uh, call it asking Siri. So let me go doc phone into my phone recent tech contacts tech contact add button. Let me have text field is editing. Let me call it 
and add text field is editing first name last company text field oh, i'll put it into in company it's gonna be uh, easier let me cap type in cap cap p podcast cap, cap p o o d f d d s d f c x c c s s i hey come on delete i delete s delete c c c a a s s y u t t Podcast. Space, space, podcast. Feedback. Cap G, cap F, cap F, E, 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 D, D, B, B, S, A, A, C, C, K, K. Here we go. Then, add into photo, the button, phone number. Done, button, add first name, text field, lap, company, cleared, add phone, add email, but add phone, but add phone, text field is editing. There we phone, go. Insert. For sure, I can select home button. The type of phone number I'd like, I'll keep it to home. Text field is editing. Phone. So we are uh, actually in the uh, text editor. I have the phone keypad. So let me uh, punch in the uh, main Kennedy log number and we'll see later on for the extension. Eight. Eight 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 seven seven. Add email three three zero 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 three three. Okay, now we are ready to go. So for the extension number, let me find out at the bottom left of the keyboard there is a shift key. Shift. Let me raise up my finger. If you are using uh, standard typing, you may double tap on it. Then, where the four is located, I have the comma. So let me five find damned. out the five. Comma. Just at the left. Comma. Here it is. And the shift was automatically disabled. So let me punch in 555. Five, 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 five. There I go. Pressing the uh, OK or Save button at the, to at the top right corner. Done. Button. Oh, OK. It was none of the uh, <laughs> above. So uh, it was done. Edit. Okay, fantastic. Contacts. Back button. Now done. Let me click back. There button. we go. Con Let doc. me go Fun. out of Activities. my contact. Whoops. Actions. Characters. There we go. Page two of six. Settings. So now I am back on my home screen. Then let me try asking Siri to call podcast feedback. So pressing and holding the home button or the side button. Call podcast feedback. Calling podcast feedback. And home. Yeah, home because I didn't Podcast change feedback. the label. And now it should work. Welcome to Canadian Log. Here we go. Un message en français suivra. Active. Hello, you have reached the... Here we go. Fantastic. So... In the case you need to uh, call contacts who uh, has uh, extension, you can add this extension number directly into the phone number by adding a comma, by uh, clicking the uh, shift key located at the bottom left of the, the screen, then uh, put in the comma, then the extension number. So uh, now, by doing this, you'll be able to uh, easily call your contact who uh, have an uh, extension very uh, easily. And uh, for sure, if you're facing an automated system that needs to wait more than like uh, the, the two or three seconds before punching the extension, well, don't hesitate to add more than one comma. So comma, 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 and then put the extension, let's say that. Uh, but maybe uh, five comma will be uh, maybe around 15 to 20 seconds. So, uh, But yeah, this is possible to do it. And by the way, at the time uh, we are talking about this, I just want to um, show you something that might be also useful for you. Well, uh, if you replace the comma by a semicolon, well, uh, in the keep on the keypad, it is located uh, at the place of the six key when pressing shift when hiding a contact, or you can also press and hold the pound key when uh, dialing using the phone keypad. What is the semicolon? It is the possibility to ask the iPhone to do not dial any additional digit added after the semicolon until I will click the button allowing to dial them. So just to show you, I've replaced the a comma by a semicolon in the uh, contact we've just created out of recording. So uh, let me try to uh, call again this contact asking Siri, call podcast feedback. 
calling podcast feedback. Home. And then podcast feedback. Okay. Welcome to Canadian. First Log. thing. Two seconds. Please, now now eight. I can English, press one. For view the keyboard. Français, Let me. Le... Oops. Where it is? Hi. Hi. And call. Button. Okay. Hi. Button. Welcome Completely at the extreme right. New bottom new right. I can click for hide. English, press then. One. Let's for check what's on the français, screen by flicking right. Twenty-three pod, podcast feedback. Twenty mute keypad speaker add call FaceTime video contacts dial five hundred fifty-five button. Here it is. Dial five hundred fifty-five button. Dial five hundred fifty-five. Let me double click. There we go. Our message en français suivra. Hello, you have reached the Kenny Dialogue podcast feedback line. This is a bit. Harder to do if you're not used to listen to voiceover and control the touch screen within a call, but this is an, an available option in there. So be aware of this. If you really don't know when you need to punch in the extension number, then for sure you can try adding a semicolon, but you'll have to manually click the dial and the rest of the string. So, well, I think this is it. I really hope this podcast was helpful. I know these tips are more for beginners, but really, if you want more tips like these ones, don't hesitate to let us know. You can always send us your comment, feedback, or even your questions if you have. And for sure, you can also suggest us a topic for our next podcast. You'll find all our contact details in a few seconds. So don't hesitate to uh, give us a call, sending us an email, uh, even uh, contact us through social networks like uh, Twitter, Facebook. We're here to help. YouTube comments also, but we're uh, not always receiving them on time, but I am trying to answer YouTube as uh, soon as I can. Uh, so yes, we're there. And also uh, don't forget that we can offer training face-to-face uh, -face or even remotely based on your need or even technical support. So don't hesitate to ask. We can assess your need and see if we can uh, assist you and if so we can send you a quote this was alexandre Benoit. i really hope you enjoyed this podcast and talk to you soon bye for now before the end of this podcast i would like to say you thank you for your loyalty to this series of podcasts on assistive technologies i would also like to thank our loyal collaborator as a reminder i would like to inform you that canidialog will not provide free technical support on product presented during these shows and that are not sold directly by Kenny Dialogue. Please note that our podcasts are now available on our website, YouTube, iTunes, as well as on Victor devices by consulting the North American English suggested podcast list from Humanware. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can contact us via email at podcastwitness at kennydialogue.com that is P-O-D-C-A-S-T-S -S at C-A-N-A-D-I-A-L-O-G dot com or by phone on our toll-free number at 1-888-730-0003 again 1-888-730-0003 extension 555 extension 555 I also invite you to visit our website, which contains a lot of useful information at www.kennydialogue.com. You can also visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for listening.